making. I'm talking about getting dirty and landscaping. Uh, we uh, actually took bids for landscaping throughout the month of uh, December uh, and uh, I guess the beginning of January. We had four bids turned in. We talked about this at last month's board meeting just from an informational standpoint. We had four companies turning bids. Uh, and basically, I, I, didn't, I didn't make copies for this board, but uh, two of the four are kind of the ones we're considering for our, our uh, again, we had uh, four firms bid. Uh, the current firm at 1175 per month. The next firm, Southern Turf Management, at $1,200 a month. And then we had the, another firm, the next, the next was like 1775 so you jump up by $500 a month. Uh, I'm recommending that go to Southern Turf at $1,200 a month. Uh, we, uh, we dealt with cut right you know, ever since I've been here. And I, as I mentioned a couple of you, uh, you know, they, they've not been as responsive. I don't feel as they should be to our phone calls and to requests. And, and they're, you know, they're, they're performing. Uh, uh, you know, they're performing under the contract, but there's some things they're, they're not doing uh, that they should do. What I really like about both Southern Turf and, the, and this third company, we we'll probably consider because of price, both of those not only uh, you know, gave us the bid, but they also supplied ancillary information showing what they will do by month, when they will plant flowers, when they will put out the kind of straw, how many flowers, because the company that uh, currently does it, as part of that is our bid process. We didn't necessarily specify how many flats of flowers you had to use, and they put out some, I mean, probably five or six flats. Both these companies have said they will put out 30 to 40 at a minimum twice a year. Uh, so, uh, but you know, it's in writing is there. So, uh, I feel I feel like for the for the $25 difference in price, I think we're going to get a lot better service. Uh, I have talked with uh, uh, Southern Turf had uh, got lots of Toyota. This is one of the references. I went out and talked to Ricky Stokes, the general manager, and spent some time with him. And uh, they are they are uh, they probably don't want to be published how pleased they are. So they'll go up on their price. But uh, they are very pleased. They've had an out for about seven months. And, he told me if they asked for money, I'd pay him. I just hope they don't ask. <laughs> but uh, but the, yeah, they've been they've been very well satisfied. He said they noticed a, a marked change, and I think you will too if you approve this. I, I know they are they are itching for me to call them. As soon as they call me, in the next 60 days we will have a lot more flowers, a lot of stuff cleared out, and and I think you'll notice. Uh, 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 as far as the presentation of the building, when people walk up to it, I think you'll notice a very positive change uh, in the next 30 to 60 days. Of both he and both he and the other company that's just a little too high. They kind of uh, added on some kind of value added kind of a signing bonus, you know, like pick us and meet that we will do these things. They each case so this is what they would do. Part of what he's gonna do is in addition to getting a, a lot of flowers, he's gonna clean out all the flower beds and kind of refresh those. But also he's going to take all the islands in the parking uh, area out here and, and clean all those up and really thin those back. They've gotten so bushy you almost can't park a car right next to the island now. The, uh, so he's going to take care of all that for us and get all the trees. And these up here, okay, because one's further down, you know, some fair stuff needs to be cleaned up. So you can just, the lens are hanging so low, you can't really put a car, you know, right up under them anyway. So, you know, that's my recommendation is to award the bid to Southern Turf Management at $1,200 per month. Uh, question. And, the, and those contracts, is anything in the contracts about the sprinkler heads in case they Yes, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, what we did in this contract this time around, we spent about, uh, well, about four thousand dollars back in August. Two thousand of it was for sprinkler head replacement adjustment. We did put a five hundred dollar cap in this contract. In addition to twelve hundred dollars per month, he has an annual, an annual amount of five hundred dollars that we will, you know, allow to be used for sprinkler head repair and adjustment. But everything past that is on him. And as a matter of fact, one of the first things, the very first thing he will do when he comes on property, is we're going to send him out with our operations director. They're going to mark all the, you know, mark all the. Uh, uh, Excuse me, come there to mark all the sprinkler heads and actually turn them all on and make sure. So we agree at the beginning. If there's a problem at the beginning, we'll correct. It shouldn't be because they were just taken care of. But then once he signs off that they're all working, then he knows he has $500 to keep them all working. If it goes past $500, that's on his side, not ours. Which I think that's a that's a. And we we talked about that during the bid packing that you brought up. That's that's a big change from the last contract, which is a, should benefit us. We should have a big uh oh on the sprinkler system related to the sprinkler heads. If we have a pump that goes bad or an underground valve. Yeah, we have to replace that, but the uh, regular sprinkler head adjustment and replacement, that's going to be on the, the company. So, in essence, we're, we're talking about $1,200 plus $500 a year, but keeping in mind that we spent $2,000 on sprinkler head replacement just last year in addition to the current contract. So, I appreciate you bringing that up, so I forgot to mention that. I attend and recommend that we award the landscape of contract to Southern Turf Management.